Welcome. In this segment, we'll show you how to attach the engine and impeller housing assembly to your new Moen vac. Due to the weight of the engine, it is especially important to have help with this process. Begin by unbolting the engine, part 9, from its shipping materials. Together with your assistant, lift the engine and lower it onto the two brackets welded to the front tongue, as shown. While your assistant holds the engine in position, thread a 5 16 inch by 3 quarter inch bolt with a 5 16 inch flat washer, part M. Insert the bolt through a mounting slot in one of the brackets and the engine base. Secure the bolt with a 5 16 inch nylock nut, but do not tighten the nut at this time. With your assistant holding the engine, align the remaining bolt holes in the engine base with the slots in the welded brackets and insert bolts and washers through the slots. Secure the bolts with 5 16 inch nylock nuts. Once all the bolts, washers, and nuts are in place, tighten the bolts with your wrenches and make sure that all the bolts are snug. Next, you'll attach the discharge elbow to the impeller. To do this, place the end of the elbow with the bolt holes onto the impeller opening, as shown. Threading a 5 16 inch self-tapping hex bolt, part I, with a nylon flat washer, insert the bolt into one of the mounting holes and tighten it using your wrench, but do not tighten it completely. Repeat this step for the three remaining holes. Once all four bolts are mounted, tighten them completely. You can center the elbow with the opening in the poly hardtop easily. Start by pushing the vinyl boot back inside the top and then check to see which way the elbow is leaning. Then loosen the four bolts attaching the engine to the front tongue about one half turn. Now slide the engine about in its slots until the elbow is centered properly and then retighten the bolts. Pull the vinyl boot out and over the end of the elbow. Your next step will be to attach the hose adapter nozzle, part 12, to the impeller. Start by positioning the hose adapter over the mounting bolts on the impeller so that the switch actuator bracket presses on the safety switch on the impeller housing, as shown. Next, secure the hose adapter to the impeller using three knobs, part Z. Make sure that the knobs are tight. Now take a hose clamp, part 11 and slide it onto one end of the hose, part 6. Once the clamp is in place, slide the hose onto the hose adapter and tighten the clamp, taking care not to over-tighten it and collapse the adapter. Your next step will be to attach the hose hanger rod assembly, part 4. To do this, position the rod so that the hook on one end faces away from the mowing vac and the short leg points down. Insert the short leg into the mounting bracket on the side of the impeller, as shown, and seat it fully into the bracket. Now, loop the 25-inch tarp strap, part double C, around the hose, and hook both ends of the strap to the hanger rod assembly. To prevent binding, when you tow your mowing vac, you'll attach the hitch plate, part Y, to your mower, if your mower has a square, straight, hitch frame or if your mower has a lightweight hitch frame that needs to be reinforced. See your owner's manual for more information. Also please note, this unit is shipped without gasoline or oil. In our next segment, we'll show you how to attach the deck adapter to the mower deck.